happening now. Investigators trying to piece together what led to a shooting that left a former high school football star dead and two others hurt. The incident is now raising concerns about the safety of the event they call Chunky Sunday in Haines City. Our Ryan Raish is covering Polk County. All these people show up from all over the place, really. Anywhere from 50 to 70 young adults crowded this public park Sunday evening for a gathering similar to a block party known as Chunky Sunday. It's advertised all over social media. Here's video of the same event from a couple years ago. While usually peaceful, police say this time it turned violent. Former high school football standout Shaquem Pitts shot and killed. I just know I'm going to miss my cousin very dearly. It he was going pro. His family heartbroken tonight over his loss. Two other men are also recovering from gunshot wounds, but so far, no suspect is in custody. When police responded here yesterday, almost everyone they talked to claimed they don't know anything, perhaps covering for a friend. So out of the 70 or so people who were here, right now police don't have a single credible witness. That was awful. You know, that goes on all the time. Some now wondering if the city should even allow this gathering. There's been two Chunky Sunday events in Haines City this month alone. Police Chief Rick Sloan telling me they plan to crack down, and that means kicking people out of the park after dark. And we'll be reviewing all of our ordinances over the next few weeks and trying to tighten them up so that we can make sure that this doesn't happen again. In this case, investigators believe the shooting started not because of the rowdy event, but because of an issue between two groups of people. Chunky Sunday just happened to be where they met. He just was a, like a loving person. In Haines City, Ryan Raish, ABC Action News.